Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, my series of videos covering Adobe Acrobat. My name is David, uh, as well as uh, these just some contextual videos just to uh, you know, help supplement your learning. So for today we're going to be discussing uh, Adobe Acrobat Standard versus Adobe Acrobat Pro uh, and essentially what you get with one versus the other. Now, as the names uh, imply, Acrobat Pro is superior to Acrobat Standard, and as such, it, there's a little bit of a price bump uh, for Pro compared with Standard. Uh, now, on this link right here, I just went to Adobe's site. There's some pricing information at the top of this page, but what we're looking at right now is, in my opinion, more interesting. It's the features, it's the capabilities of the softwares. So, uh, suffice to say, Acrobat Pro is the most functional, most capable version of the software. So when I, uh, when I say Acrobat Pro, all of these tools will be uh, turned on and enabled for me. Now, with an Acrobat Standard, the uh, interface may look very much the same as this, but, um, but with the, the key difference being that if you try to click on any Pro exclusive tools, uh, one of which is Scan and OCR, uh, you would be prompted to either upgrade or you know, download or start a free trial of, of Pro, things like that. Uh, but speaking very broadly, for most basic PDF uh, operations, uh, if you're not, you know, the most experienced with Acrobat and you're, uh, and, you know, not a power user, then standard is absolutely all you need, because things such as, you know, the edit PDF tool, so basic word processing, basic manipulation of images, adding in headers, watermarks, rotating pages, uh, applying comments, a lot of incredibly common uh, business tasks can be accomplished with standard, you know making forms, creating PDFs, uh, exporting PDFs into a particular file type. That can all be done with standard. It's just there are a few pro exclusive tools uh, that you know you may find yourself needing and in which case Acrobat Pro will serve you best. So what are these tools? So over here as we can see there's a, a few a few uh, check marks here indicating pro as the lead over standard. So with the first option here, <clears throat> We can, with Pro, we can turn scanned documents into editable, searchable PDFs, and that is very much the domain of scan and OCR, optical character recognition. So that is Pro exclusive. You don't get that with standard. Uh, furthermore, redaction is also uh, one of the Pro exclusive features. And redaction, it is a permanent process, as we'll as we'll come to find during my video covering redaction. So um, if you've heard that Adobe Acrobat's Redact tool doesn't work, uh, then I would definitely recommend you uh, watch that video once it's up. Uh, compare files tool. So for instance, if you have a, uh, a PDF that has gone through several different rounds of review and markup, then you can uh, compare two different versions of the same document. Technically, you can compare two versions. Well, you can just compare any two documents. But if, if they're not really two versions of the same file, the output can be a bit messy if they're completely different files from each other. Um, but lastly, you have the ability with Pro to uh, you know, add logos, add branding, and, and uh, upload those existing PDF forms you may have to instantaneously make web forms uh, using the sign service. More broadly speaking, uh, you know, th this, this bullet point right here, it's sort of hinting at Pro's superior sign functionalities to standard, and you know, that is true. But honestly, I don't think this goes far enough uh, because Acrobat Pro's eSign capabilities are vastly superior to standards. Uh, but we'll be talking about that in its own separate video. Uh, and I'll be providing this link in the description, but broadly speaking, Standard can do, just as a, as a key takeaway from the video, Standard can do most of what Acrobat Pro can do, and if you don't need any of Pro's features, Standard will serve you fine. Uh, but of course, it's a good idea, even if you don't have an immediate need for Standard, it's a good idea to keep some Acrobat Pros around, uh, just so that if you do happen to need those features, you can easily uh, plug into those with just a simple unassign, reassign on the admin console, which we'll also be talking about later. But yeah, that's uh, all for today, folks. That's just the differences between Standard and Pro. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you all so much for coming today. Tune in next time for when we discuss the differences in those sign features. Yeah, until